everyone and welcome to my second Sephora play box. I'm so, so excited about this box. I loved last month's and I'm so excited to open up this month's. So starting off with the last month's products. Last month I had gotten this Murad Invisible Perfecting Shield Primer and I really liked this surprisingly because I typically don't like this kind of silicone textured primers, but I think that Myriad is such a good skincare brand and that's why I liked it. I'm not going to pick this over some of my favorite primers, but I really enjoyed trying this and I'll finish it up and yeah, I would recommend it to anybody who likes this formula for their primer. Absolutely. Next was the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I liked this, but I didn't love it. It had a bit of a scent that I couldn't really get past. Um, it was a good cleanser, good face wash, very gentle, worked really well with my skin. I just really am sensitive to scent. So this I'm going to pass on um, repurchasing. However, there are some fresh products that I absolutely adore. I love this brand. Like I said, it was a really great product. Just didn't love the scent. Next was the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper, which is black. And I actually wore it on my upper lips today. I love this. I think it's great. I would definitely buy the full size of this. I think it's awesome. Next was the Replica Perfume in Beach Walk. And I, as you can kind of see, almost used the entire thing up. I loved this. There is a scent in here that I can't quite place, but it just gives this like memory and I don't even know what it is, but every time I wear it, I'm like, I can't place this. I love it. It makes me actually want to like buy the perfume so I can keep wearing it to someday figure out what the heck that memory is that I just can't place. It's so cool. I love it. Next was the Sephora version of a beauty blender or the perfecting airbrush sponge and I apologize for it being gross and kind of big because I actually used it this morning. Um, I thought that this was a fairly good dupe for the Beauty Blender. It's a little bit more dense, um, which I think that the Beauty Blender just has the perfect sort of bounceability, gets that foundation of looking that airbrushness. So for that, I give it to the Beauty Blender. But for shape, this is awesome. So this like pointy tip just really gets in that eye area. But then when you're doing concealer, you know, this part works really well to bounce around the nose. I do prefer the little version of things for concealer, but I did use this to give it a go and it's definitely workable. So that's awesome. Also, it's in my favorite color. Duh. All right, last thing was the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil, and I only used this a couple of times. I'm not positive this is the product, but I was starting to get these giant, welty, like, um, I don't even know if they're really pimples. They're just, like, really hard and big along my jawline, and I don't know if it was from this, but I know that when I tried the regular Photo Finish, that happened to me, and that's sort of why I feel like this product was the culprit. Um, I may try it again once my face completely clears up, but then that scares me because I don't want to have to go through those couple of weeks of clearing my skin again. So I'm not quite sure. I do like the idea of an oil for a primer. I have dry skin. I love that. I had really good makeup days the couple of days I used this. I am just not sure if this was the product that broke me out or not. Overall, I loved my first month of Sephora Play and I am so excited to jump into this month's. All right, so I took off the outer packaging, same box as last time, which is both adorable because then you can end up having like a bunch of the same and also sort of disappointing because I kind of like getting different boxes each month, but that's okay. All right, so the booklet is on top. First thing I see, ooh, by Milk Makeup. I've been seeing a lot about this brand and haven't tried anything yet. So it is a, it is called Sunshine Oil. It is bright yellow, which is super cute. I love that it has this twist off packaging so you can use it again instead of like a foil packet where you tear it off and it's really hard to reuse even though there's still stuff left. And I am going to look in my booklet to see what it does. All 
perfect and open to the page so I didn't spoil anything else. All right, so it says, okay, so it says that it is a moisturizing oil for hydrating your face, body, and hair anytime, anywhere. That's really cool. So then it has these little pictures and it shows like for your elbows, your cuticles, your hair, and your face. So that's really awesome. I'm excited to try that. Cool. Next is Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. Oh, I am so excited. I've been hearing all about this and I love Clinique. I love that they're non-scented. They're super gentle, but they have really great products. And I've been wanting to try this eye cream. I am so excited. I love it when in my sample boxes I get things that I've been wanting to try really bad. So that's super awesome. Next is Sephora colorful cheek ink gel in the color peony so a nice pinky shade that'll be great for spring i'm actually going to open it up so that i can see the color on my hand i love cream gel products i think that they're great for my skin type so i am really excited to try this and there are some hidden gems in the sephora line so it's a very, very light pink. So it comes out sort of this bright pink, but then when you blend it in, it sort of shears out, um, but still has this nice pink rosy glow. This will be great for the like light makeup days where you want that hint of color, but you don't want to look super overdone. I love this type of product for summer. Next is a Derek Lamb perfume sample. I am going to open that up and see what it smells like. It's called 2AM Kiss. Hmm, it's almost like one of those almost unigender scents, but not quite. Like it still smells more feminine very musky i'm gonna have to see how that works with my body chemistry i'm excited about that i love perfume samples i mean i don't want it to be like overboard with perfume samples but i still think that they're great next is the sunday riley good jeans all-in-one lactic acid treatment oh cool i have heard some really great things about sunday riley lately and i haven't tried anything yet because it's a pretty expensive brand but I'm excited to try this out. I'm going to have to read up on it and see exactly how to use it. Yeah, very excited. And the last thing is a NARS Satin Lip Pencil. It is this like beautiful rosy color. This looks a lot like one of the birthday colors. But I think it's a little lighter. So it's kind of that rosy color. This is actually one of my favorite lip colors is this sort of shade, this like almost maroon, almost pink, almost brown, right in the middle, rosy color. Sort of my looks best on my skin tone and that kind of stuff. So that's really exciting. I love NARS lip products. I haven't been disappointed in any that I've ever had. So this is awesome. I am so excited about these Sephora play boxes. Loving everything I got, loving everything from last month, just totally want to rave about these. All right, well, that is everything that I got from this month's Sephora Playbox. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.